Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Grogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. We're way out here for some bug hunt? Weren't they wiped out by the Krogan? That's what everyone thought, but I've run into a few. Hard to forget. It was that secret lab back on Novaria. Not something I want to repeat. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. You're telling me you let a Rachni queen go? Are you kidding? No. It was the right call. Just be ready for anything. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. <laughs> Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you. I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal, and being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? Eh, impossible to resist. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> Our luck company! Move out! Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. You know, <clears throat> Krogan have really strangely shaped heads when you think about it. Like, normally having both of your eyes facing forward makes you a predator, and having eyes face sideways are usually prey in figurations, but the shape of the Krogan's head makes it so that their eyes both face fo straight forward and sideways. It's very unique. I don't know anything else that has a head like that. Not surprised Grunt found his way into the action. Little guy's all grown up. Glad he's here. Sharks? Good point, I hadn't thought of that. All right. Put the choke on there. There we go. And the shredder. Come on, don't get stuck. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. 
You ready to go? All right, let's get going. Finally! Right behind you, Shepard. Woo! Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! You know, part of the reason I like doing that is is the mental the mental thought of now the shields are, are refreshed and fully powered. Got and something. part of it is I, I know it probably scares people every time I do it. <laughs> Which right. is just got a body of fun. out here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. Has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Whoa. Is that weapon? Looks like it. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Anybody catch that? Don't worry, I got you covered. I like James's response. Really? Why do they have to explode? Ever get over there? It didn't really bother me. Jesus Christ. God damn. Very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. The nest has to be here somewhere. These Reapers are protecting something.
I did it. Looks like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Hmm. Okay. Garrus, Jesus Christ. Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Ereba on the Citadel. Expect trouble. Yes, that is the uh, the Krogan and Asari couple from Mass Effect 2. That is correct. But you don't have to help them in Mass Effect 2. You could be, be a dick. <laughs> Tough bastards. Casualties. It's fine. Krogan fight better angry.
You guys mind? Don't worry, fellas, I got it. Come on, fellas. Don't hold back now. Shepard, we're blocked and getting overrun. Hang on. Shepard. Thank you. Thanks, Shepard. That wasn't webbing stopping us. That was Reaper tech. <clears throat> we ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now. But they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Krogan, get ready! All right. Who gets the special shepherd smooching this time around? Jack. Take it slow. located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. So far they've been pretty good. Move it. Damn it. Where's the switch? You still save her on 
whatever that Grissom Academy. She's still in Grissom Academy. A little less. Sanity. <laughs> Copy that. did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines 
is everywhere. I let you go back in Noveria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. <laughs> we kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of our notes drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's a mess. She needs too much time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our that company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our that company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way! Shepard, you sure about this? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Shuttle's down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? And Garrus just strolling over. Hey, what's going on? Get over here, dude. Damn. This guy's like 800 pounds. 
I'm reviewing your report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. Noise. Oh man, nope, don't go that way. Yeah, when I thought Grunt was dead the first time, I was like, I was heartbroken. Good. Oh, I saved them on Benning. Okay. Like, who the hell is that? All right. Whoops. Just kidding. Yeah, the, the, the mods are, are really good. I, I'm liking them a lot. Have I played through any of the three games without any DLC installed? No. The first time I played, I did not... No, I had all the DLC the first time I played. No, I didn't. Mass Effect 3... I got Mass Effect 3 Clear when it dock, came out. Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. So... When it first came out, Omega, Leviathan, and Citadel were not released. So I played Mass Effect 3 the first time with only Arrival. But 1 and 2 have always been played with DLC. gift shop. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian war effort. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side. A weed beside your beauty. Twining together in the warm chunk of sun oh char but if my last days must be with grant instead of kindness still i will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals <sighs> let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Okay. Uh, Arya and James, Thane, Michelle, and Ashley.
Oh, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, nothing, actually. The subsequent games assume... The subsequent base games assume you played the DLC. So, for example, if you don't play Mass Effect 2 uh, Arrival, uh, you're still going to start Mass Effect 3 in prison for destroying a Batarian system. Welcome, you just won't know what the hell they're talking about. Once again, I'm doing this. Same thing with Layer of the Shadow Broker. She's still the Shadow Broker at the beginning of Mass Effect 3. You just don't know how the hell that happened. You're just like, wait, what? I helped you with that? Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, there's another mission on... On Tachanka, the, the Cerberus mission. Let's go do that one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Steven, the guy who DMs our Mass Effect D&D sessions. He played through all games without any of the DLC. And then he came and watched me play a bunch of them. So he was like, oh my god, the games make so much more sense now. I was like, yeah. All right. Still rocking Team M&M &M, cuz they're stupid good. Oh goodness. What new assault rifles have I gotten? Seven points for me. Um, I don't use throw very often, but I do use um, this a lot. Let's do the incapacitate. Six. Um, no. What about carnage? Damage by 50% or damage to armor by 65. Let's just do generic by 50. That'll still affect armor, but... Shepard Service is landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. Who the we'll fuck is set. Grayson? Yeah. See to it. Knock it out. He's in the books. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'm books are good? Get on. All right. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Sounds simple enough. Keep track of it, and it's on it. Have you read the books yet? Only the first three are any good. The first three were written by the by the head writer of the games.
It also explains why uh, why the Quarians hate the hate Cerberus so bad in Mass Effect at the beginning of Mass Effect 2. It explains that. Are you in Discord? Control center secure. Delantrius? Then I think it's time to test this cannon. Yeah, I was gonna say there are if you can do audiobooks, there the audiobooks are really good. Not the kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. I should go back and reread them. They're pulling the plug. You need to get the power back on. Let's move. I'm very picky about my my audiobook narrators and the narrator for the books was really good. Not one of the best, but definitely not not one of the worst either. Yeah, he is definitely not a bad narrator. I like the fact that they were written by the same guy who wrote the games, so that you know that uh, it fits really well. Everything fits together. continuity yeah that's why the fourth one isn't good though it's because the fourth one was not written by him and the person it was written by i'm assuming someone who didn't know what mass effect was i've rerouted the power to the main console heading back now because they just completely butcher the story and ru ruin a whole bunch of stuff to try to get their story to work right 
And you're just like, none of this makes any sense. So just skip the fourth one. Yeah, Cappy's eyed, I guess. Control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good work, everyone. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. 
I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Awesome. You know what I didn't do on the Citadel? I meant to stop by and buy the Paladin. Let's go do that real quick. I had a buddy who got discharged. Category 6 after Eden Prime. Yeah, 6? Oh, damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He brought it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, the books the books are great though. They fill in they fill in a lot of um, of missing content and story between the games. Like book one takes place before Mass Effect One, so you know. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Okay. Let's check out the, um, the Paladin. Nothing there. That would be, that's actually a really good niche. You could have, like, C-Sec stuff. A C-Sec, uh, mystery. That would be really cool. Dude, now I want to read that. <laughs> Well, you better get writing. Wow, only three rounds? Ouch. Where's a reset? Dude, that's only health. Dead. That shield. Well, that fully dropped the shields. And fully removes armor. Ooh, these are strong. Oh, I like this gun. What does the... Um, if I put that on there, what does that do for me? Gives me one additional round in the chamber. A whopping one extra round. Because it was 21 and 3 in the ch uh, three in the clip. Now it's 21 and 4 in the clip. So I'll actually empty the gun a lot faster. Um... Huh. That's interesting. It didn't increase total ammo. It just increased... Clip size. What's my... What's my ADS? I think my ADS is fine. We'll go with this. There's a lot of Mass Effect fan fictions going around. I'd rather have, like, a professional grade story. The problem with fanfics is they tend to be romance. And I don't want romance. I want story. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please one moment. Now arriving. 
arriving at docking bay D-24. Alright, back on the Normandy. Yeah, the Paladin hits like a sledgehammer, dude. That thing hits hard. Alright, what are we doing now? God, we got so much stuff. Arya, that's Omega. Everything is either pick up random stuff around the system or DLC or priority to Chanka. Okay. I think... I think now is a good time for me to stop for today. Uh, ooh, can I max out overload? I can have a I can have a third target, or I can have it do extra damage to shields and barriers. Let's do that. Could I go chat with Liara? Speaking from the perspective of a non-romance fanfic writer from other fanfictions, quality varies wildly. Oh no, yeah, definitely. Can I go check with Liara? I guess I could. Let's do that real quick. And then we'll call it quits. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Wait, do you mean chat with her on the Presidium or on the ship? I just realized I just those, how I do it. those are two different things. Well, let's let's do both. The matriarchs aren't going to do anything to you, especially in the middle of this damn war. My reports don't show much activity from the Asari military against the Reapers. Come on, you know how Asari work: infiltration and sabotage. But against Reaper forces, that's. I know. About as useful as tits on a hand. Good thing we've left the Turians and the Krogan to do the heavy lifting. Our people just aren't built for the front ranks. Huh. I've never noticed that. There's not a lot of Asari around here. Not how it works. I'm a thousand years old. I've had kids with Hanar. Don't tell me how a sorry reproduction works. Wait. I have a half sister who's part Hanar. I thought that wasn't how it worked. <laughs> Is she the only one with eyebrows? It's funny, I looked it up on, on Google and there's a Reddit thread about it. Um, and and it says from the wiki that they're not actually eyebrows, they're facial markings that just are in the place and look like. Okay, yeah, because look at look at uh, Arita here, or Araba, or whatever her name is. She has markings that are almost eyebrows. So does this lady. She has really light colored markings right there. It's probably very difficult to see. Can I get any closer? No, it clips out of her. But you can barely see them. Right above this. They're not full eyebrows either. They're just, they're like half length eyebrows that are centered above her eye. It's interesting. Venezia had them. Venezia had them too? Yeah. Huh. They're just, they're apparently just facial markings, but the Asari. This is from the wiki. Don't consider them eyebrows. They just consider them facial markings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel the urge to headbutt something. It's genetic. I have never wanted to headbutt anything. Really? Not even a little bit? Come on. I do not headbutt people. All right, fine. 
Don't go all blood rage on me. Or what? You'll tell the other matriarchs to order a hit. Hey, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, you notice how some Asari have completely, like, blue faces. There's no markings at all. And then some Asari have weird, like, makeup. Whoa. That's actually really cool. I think that's a new wall panel. That looks like Andromeda armor. Interesting. Dad, stop! Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's kind of like how Turians have their facial markings. But I think Asari, it's more... Uh, Turians, it's family-based. I think Asari, it's more just... Like, wanting to be different. Unique. Alright, I think that's a good stopping point for tonight. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I very much appreciate it. And we will see you guys next time.